Good morning, friends, and welcome to the pre-market view. Uh, U.S. markets were shut yesterday, so no cues uh, from that side. And the European markets were up about uh, 0.4 to almost about 0.8 percent. Uh, and the manufacturing and services data that came out from the eurozone was slightly better than expectations. But the key uh, to watch out for is what really happens on the Greece front, because the uh, meetings of the eurozone uh, finance ministers uh, is uh, underway and. Uh, one is not very sure about what kind of steps are being uh, taken to resolve that particular issue. Uh, when we look at the Asian markets, uh, Hang Seng is up about uh, 0 0.4 to 0.5% and the Japanese markets are shut. So no major cues are from there as well. Uh, talking about the flows, fine, yesterday FIIs were net buyers to the tune of about 148 crore and the domestic institutions were sellers to the tune of about uh, 160 odd crore. As expected, the parliament session was a wash on because BJP is asking for a vote uh, on the uh, contentious issue of uh, FDI in multi brand retail, and uh, one is not sure how this particular issue is going to be resolved. But overall, it looks like that some solution could be found over the next couple of days on this matter, and some important bills could actually be passed. Uh, so uh, this is something that the market is keenly going to watch out for. On that note, let me invite uh, Nandish to take us through important FNO queues, uh, strategies and ideas that we could look at in the FNO markets. Good morning friends uh, and welcome to the morning conference. Uh, friends, uh, yesterday we have seen that you no know, market overall traded in a range, you know, being the uh, winter parliament sessions uh, uh, started, you know, we, we have seen a sharp volatility taking place on an intraday basis. But friends, uh, interestingly, what we have seen that you know, the PCR ratio, which was hovering around 0.98, has seen a very good uptick in the last couple of days. We uh, yesterday it closed around 1.06. Premium has further increased, you know, cost of carry has increased to around 11%, with a good addition of around 1.73 lakh shares in Nifty futures, clearly indicating that you no know, uh, long positions continue to build at the lower side. But uh, friends, uh, another thing what we have observed from the derivative side is that uh, the sell-off which, which we have seen from 5,820 levels to 5,550 levels, we haven't seen uh, you no know, long unwinding taking place. In fact, you no know, short uh, aggressive short continue to build in the overall fall. Uh, it's clearly indicating that you no know, majority of the long position is stuck uh, into the market, and uh, from the current levels we might see uh, the momentum continuing. But you no, know, unless and until market is not sustaining and closing above 5,675 which is the volume weighted average price for the November series. We think that the upside is kept from the current levels and now we might see uh, selling pressure existing somewhere from 5,670 levels. On the option side, we have seen that you know, 5,600 core options has seen some unwinding in the current series. And you know, at the same time, uh, we have seen that uh, open interest started building up for the December series uh, in core option as well as in the put option. Uh, November series 5600 put option has seen around 17% addition. So, uh, no uh, intraday basis or for this week, we might see some good supports coming around 5600 levels. On a stock specific front, uh, we have identified three stocks. Uh, Bajaj Auto is uh, looking negative. One can sell Bajaj Auto with an intraday stop loss of 1849.25. Uh, Aditya Bilanu and Havels looking positive. One can place a stop loss of uh, 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 957.45 for Aditya Bilanu and uh, 588.60 for uh, Havels India. Uh, friends, apart from this, you know, uh, from a positional basis, uh, even Tata Motors is looking negative. We have seen that the you know, overall setup uh, is uh, seen on a low uh, negative side. No aggressive short positions continue to build in the counter. So, even for the November series, one can sell this. Uh, uh, counter uh, uh, for a uh, November expiry. That's all from all of us, friends. Thank you. Friends, here are the news and events that we are tracking today. First of all, the uh, Cabinet Committee has approved uh, the mixing of 5% ethanol in the petrol, and this is going to be implemented for the next month, uh, which would help us save about 100 crore of uh, fuel uh, per day. And on the back of that, one can go long on Badram Puccini and EID Perry, which have a good amount of uh, ethanol production. So they would be benefited because of this development. Uh, the ministry has clarified that uh, the uh, Reliance Powers Tilaya Ultra Mega Power Plant enjoys the exemption uh, from the key provisions of the Forest Act. And this would be a bit positive for Reliance Power. One can go long there with a stop loss of 89 and a target of about 94 to 95. PVR is all set to buy the 141 screen multiplex chain Cinemax owned by Kanakya Group and this would make PVR the largest uh, multiplex in the country and uh, 
the pricing is not very clear at this point of time the current price of uh, cinemax is about 160 and the pricing that one is talking about is about 160 to 170 but if the negotiations uh, are on there could be some more uh, scope for upward revision in that price so one can go long on cinemax with the stop loss of 157 and a target of about 165 to 168 Starlight Tech has uh, got the order of 200 to provide the set-top boxes as we all know that uh, digitization has actually scaled up and more uh, cities are going to be covered over the next 2 or 3 months. So this could be an interesting bet to look at when can go long on Starlight technology with a stop loss of 29.4 and a target of about 31 to 31.75. NMDC's e-auction has actually not got uh, good response and 90% of the total uh, quantity has remained unsold because the pricing is perceived to be higher and on the back of that one can go short on NMDC with a stop loss of 174 and a target of about 165 to 161. Two Gujarat based uh, companies uh, Clarice Life and Intas have been charged by NPPA for overcharging the medicines and uh, one can go short on Clarice Life Science on the back of that with the stop loss of 277 and a target of about 264 to about 258. And in other news, uh, Indian hotels could raise the open offer for Orient Express after the Orient Express uh, shareholders rejected the earlier offer made by the Indian hotels. And the DHL uh, Express Singapore has fixed a price of about 1720 for the offer for sale. Uh, and the current price of uh, Blue Dart is somewhere around 2000. So this is a counter that we will be watching out for in today's markets. And uh, in another development, the government has set a price of 155 as a four floor price for the sale of 4% stake in Hindustan Copper, which is almost 40% discount to the current market price. So one will have to uh, watch out where this price settles at. Uh, that's it from all of us friends. Have a nice trading session and see you tomorrow at the same time.